Breezy Resale. Follow the hustle. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Today, I'm with my daughter, Bye. Alyssa. Alyssa Reezy, a.k.a. Alyssa. Haven't seen me in a bit. Yes, because we've been on lockdown. Unfortunately, Alyssa lost her job, so temporary laid off. Hopefully things are okay and she can go back when this is all over. In the meantime, she still needs to make money. Bills still need to be paid. Food still needs to be eaten. So what she's doing to make money right now is Instacart. If you guys don't know what Instacart is, it's like grocery delivery, Uber kind of type thing. You order your groceries, cool people like Alyssa go and pick them up and then bring them to you and you're all good. Actually, there's a large demand for this service right now and it's it's like a really honorable thing. You can feel really good about helping people that need groceries and don't want to go outside. So we're masked up, we got gloves, hand we got sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Lysol wipes. And Lysol wipes. We're we got the whole safe. gamut. We're being safe. So I'm gonna show you guys how it all works, how the app works, how much money she makes, just how it all works and how you guys can make money right now doing Instacart, providing a good service for people that need this service. But first, coffee. We're gonna go get this coffee ground and probably get a cup of coffee. So if you guys wanna sign up for Instacart, there will be a link down there in the description and also right there, that is actually Alyssa's referral Yay. link. And she gets 25 bucks if you guys sign up and complete a certain amount of deliveries. So please use that link and help my daughter out. Support each other. Yeah, let's do this. We gotta stick together in these rough times. Masks on. The cafe is open in limited capacity. You're not allowed to go in. You can be outside, that's Herman over there. And so we got our social distancing going on. Get your coffee and get out of there. Excuse me, sir, you're in my six feet radius. I need you to take back up. Please. We were literally just sitting next to each other in a car. Different, it's different, sorry. All right, I'll leave. <laughs> this coffee is from January and February. It's still good. It's March. It's still good. Would you find it under your bed? Under my uh, passenger seat, actually, in my car. Wow. Better than the coffee from October. That I've been it's better from than anything you can get anywhere else yeah, right now. It's Cat and Cloud. They're doing a, a web sale, 20% off. Support local businesses. So how does it work? So I am opening my shopper app. Gonna check to see what batches I have available. It says I have five or four. And so now it's gonna give me an estimated total of how much I'm gonna earn from that. It is basically the Instacart payment plus a tip if they've already designated what they're gonna give you. Yeah, and then it'll tell me which store it's also at and how far away the home Based is. Based on your current location. Based on my current location, yeah. So it's looking like we have two in Capitola and two in Felton. So we're probably gonna do the Capitola one. And so I have two orders. One is $19 and one is $31. Obviously we're gonna do the $31 one. So we're gonna do the $31 one. And so I'm gonna slide to accept my order. So now you're clocked in. Yeah. And it is 11.18. All right, so now I have an order waiting and it's telling me to go to the supermarket. And if I don't know where it is, there's a navigate button that you can press and it'll tell you where to get there. But I know how to get there. So now we're gonna go. Time to go shopping. Time to go shopping. Let's get it. So when do we put the masks on? Put the masks on when I say we put the masks on. When we leave the car. Also wanna point out we didn't have rubber gloves and my neighbor gave us some rubber gloves. He was just leaving and asked us if we needed any masks or anything. And I asked him if he had gloves and he did. So shout out to my neighbor. Woo! And also just wanted to make a note, like it's pretty cool people are helping each other and coming together during this time of needs. Shout out to all the kind souls out there. I just like the way that people have started showing up for their own community more. I think it's opened everybody's eyes up to how much their more local community and economy needs them versus Safeway or Costco, who will get out of this? Right. Versus like a local grocery store. Or you know, just being smart with where you put your money. So are we going to Safeway? Uh, <laughs> no, we're going to Lucky. Lucky? Yep. Where even is Lucky? Lucky is the old Albertsons on 41st. Oh, okay. Got it. To Lucky! Only 1121 and we still made no money. I'm gonna go in sports mode. Wait. Ready? Sports mode. Cue the afterburners! <laughs> Have you got any additional tips, like other than just the app, like you drop it off and then you get an extra tip? No. Or no one are doing like fat manual tips? Oh, manual tips? Yeah, I mean, they've been pretty good. Yesterday I made $50 total in tips, I guess. In tips, not even in fees. Yeah, in tips. In how many hours? I think I worked around Woo! six, six and a half. And then on top of that, you also probably made what, an extra uh, hundred bucks, 150? Yeah. So you made 200 bucks at least in six hours. Yeah. That's nice, that's good work. I 
I mean, you are putting wear and tear on your car, but if you have a newer vehicle that doesn't really need to be serviced for a long time, yeah, probably a pretty good deal. Plus, I read that Instacart will add a certain expense, a small amount to every mile that the person's home is away from the grocery store for gas or something like that. I don't know. Nice. In terms of service, important. This is a really good opportunity, guys. I know a lot of people don't want to go outside, and yes, you are risking getting infected by going outside, but people need these products. There's people at home people that are elderly, people with infants, people that have existing issues, and they're at high risk, higher than younger people like my daughter and myself. I don't know if I'm considered young anymore. And the demand is high, so it's something that you can actually feel good about doing, can allow you to get money so you can buy the groceries that you need for yourself right now. And you could also buy your own groceries while you're out doing this already anyways. Yep. Double so dip. So if I get hungry, I can buy a lunch. You can just eat someone's food. It'd be like I'm on lunch. Like, sorry, wait, why are these Cheetos open? Got hungry. Be there very early trying to get toilet paper. Oh, that's already over, bro. That's like wait outside. I got a bidet. I'm chilling. Wow. <laughs> TMI. It's kind of like Soviet Russia old school communism. I mean, we are buying the toilet paper, but we're still waiting in a line to get it. And beans. I couldn't get any beans the other day. So if you want dried beans, I think you got to get that early beans, also. Rice, pasta, potatoes, garlic, toilet paper. All impossible. So it's now 1126 and we are pulling up to Lucky and we're about to get money. Yes. It's real crazy though that Onward, it was in the theater for two weeks. It's a Pixar film. We saw it at the theater, but now that theaters are closed, Disney is putting it straight to digital download and Disney Plus two weeks after release. And then I believe next week, DreamWorks is releasing Trolls World Tour, which obviously was gonna go to the theater, but is now going straight to digital download, which is insane. I feel like if they find out they really like this, it might be a new thing. Just movies straight to home, no theater. All right, masks on. Make sure you pinch the mask and you get the loop above your ear. Okay. These masks were really not designed for bearded men. Look what's happening to my beard. It is highly gross. So we're heading into the grocery store. All right, so I select that we're ordering and so now I have her this. Before I start shopping, I like to kind of just get out of the way and take a look at what we're looking at to make sure I am using my time the best. So there's cheese, there's chips, there's a lot cleaning of cleaning products supplies. that probably won't be here, eggs, bread. All right, so I'm gonna go to dairy and cheese if I can find it. I also don't really know where tons of things are in the store, which is not the best. What's it this way? That's what they wanted? Yep. So I find the item, I scan the barcode, and then it reminds me that they wanted two. So I say that I grab two. Make sure they're both the French rolls. And we put them in the cart. What do you need? Uh, lettuce. These are jumbo, they wanted large ones. And then if you can help to not get things that look like this, it's gonna really improve your shopper rating because customers don't want, you know, they Damn care about what packaging. they're getting. Yeah, so they wanted four of these guys. I'm sure they're all larges. I don't know if we're allowed to eat those right now. Here's the order so far. Sorry, Heavy whipping creams around here. Okay. You're wasting electricity. I'm sorry. They don't want any ho-hos. <laughs> Just send them a random message. Would you like any ho-hos? You need cleaning supplies and you're in the dog food aisle. Cleaners are in here. This guy, I think. Got him. Here's lime away. Oh, here's this, thank you. No, you brought me for a reason. Okay, we're looking for Tide Coral Blast. Tide Coral Blast, right here. Here's Fresh Coral Blast. Dude, where's your cart? I left it. Oh, you're one of those persons? <laughs> yeah. It's not even in the aisle. Would you just leave it in the middle of another aisle? Yeah. Your stuff's gonna get put back. No, it's not. No one's gonna touch my stuff right now. Oh my God. There, it's like a airport situation. Wait, it's this way. You no, know, your cart's here. Oh, my cart's over there. Only a half a block away from you. I'm gonna put these all up here so I don't squish anything. Yeah, no one wants squished bread. And the cleaning products should not be mixed with the food. My customer wanted toilet paper, but as you can see, 
there's none. There are paper towels, but it's not what they wanted. And so I had to go ahead and refund them for toilet paper because there weren't any replacements that would be good. What are these? Trash bags, scented trash bags. It's a good invention. Oh, wait, we needed coconut water too. This is why you look at your list before you start shopping so that you just know you have stuff that you need to grab. So here's some coconut water that I remember seeing. And I turned around and there was a bunch of coconut water here. How many did they want? Four. Oh, so this is the wrong one. No, it's not. So sometimes the app is a little and it just won't recognize things because packaging changes, stores redesign their brands a lot. Right. Sometimes the app just doesn't know when a package looks different. On my screen, this is the exact same thing, same price, same ounces. So this is the item. You just have to be smarter than the app and then you force mark as found and you take a picture of it. The pictures don't really matter that much. All right, one more cleaning product. They wanted three initially. A big part of Instacart shopping is using your judgment. Just make it a judgment call. People will be happy with replacements most of the time. And if they don't want a replacement, they'll ask for a refund. It's not hard. And then who gets the cheese? You have to review all your changes before you check out. So once you get like ready to check out, you wait for them to review it? No, sometimes they'll be like, I don't want to be called. And sometimes you call them. But they can also text you through the app. And they also get notifications when you replace things. They really wanted a lot of cheese. Yeah, they can tell you like, oh, I know you couldn't find that cheese, but I don't want it. You gotta go even smaller, bro, it's right here. This is a mighty looking cart right now. What tea do they want? Interesting barcode. What? So I just scanned this green tea and it let me know that they didn't want this one, but they wanted the decaffeinated version of that tea. Now bacon bits and you're done? Uh, I need more green tea. How many? 40 boxes? No, two boxes. There's 40 tea bags in each box. We'll need a pallet of green tea. But they want 20 bacon bits. Just saw that. 20 units? 20 units. That's Are they gonna eat just bacon bits? Yeah. So yesterday, 25 singular Chobani yogurt. Would you be. got them? No. Hey, great to see you guys. I'll see you. See ya. Are these the ones they wanted? Okay, this is what they want. Three ounces, and they want 20 of them. There's not 20. I'm going to leave my quantity open, and I'm just gonna start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, you shelf cleared. So how do you do a substitution, a partial substitution? You don't. You just give them partially what they asked for. They wanted seven, so they say seven. We have two in review. These are things that are replaced or refunded. Before I check out, I hit review changes. So it says that it doesn't want to be called. She'll just trust me, go to next step. And now I'm ready to go check out. And then how do you pay? Once I'm done ringing up, I'll just click check out with Apple Pay. My card will come up. How easy is that? Very easy. Easy doing what? Business. You're waiting to check out, huh? They got toothpaste? Yep. Thank you. Filming made it take longer too. Filming it made it take longer. This is not my local grocery store that I go to that often. And Instacart is about the speed. The faster you can do orders, the more you can do, and the more money you'll make. Time to load groceries. App wants me to take pictures of the receipt, so I'm going ahead and doing that for them. And then I submit it, and it tells me not to give them the receipt, and we start our delivery. Is that gonna tell the police officer? Yeah. Bro, that's some Robocop stuff right there. Is that a motorcycle or a car? They said that they wanted to text me 20 minutes before I arrived, but I didn't see that till now. So I will just say that I didn't see that, but I am here. Your groceries are on your doorstep. In 30 seconds. Exclamation point, smiley face. So let's see what the time is now and then see how much money you made. What is this? These are Lysol wipes so that I can wipe off my phone that I was just touching a lot. But it is 12, 18, an hour, an exact hour. From the time we decided to go to the store. Mm -hmm. What about your steering wheel? I'm gonna get it, don't worry. Steering wheel. Coffee cup. Blinker. This guy. 
12, 18. Now let's see how much money you made. Complete delivery. Yay, I'm done. Now if I wanted to continue working, there are more batches. 55 for three orders. And you can check oh, that your that goes earnings. to three different stores for one person? No, three different people in one store who all live in a mile radius of each uh. other. So those orders are more profitable for you, but they sometimes take longer. That's gotta be how you get double dip though. You make yeah, more money by driving less. You have to less. stay organized as well on your own. And you yeah. have to do three checkouts on Instacart or you check out all at once for everybody? Three separate checkouts. Instacart doesn't really help you organize it because I did a double order yesterday at Safeway and it was just like, you have a customer named Jen and Lauren. Jen is A, Lauren is B. And then your shopping list looks the same, but next to every item is an A or a B. That could easily get confusing. Exactly. So how much did you make? It takes a second for the app to like confirm that I delivered it and stuff. So I can't see it yet, but by the time Shortly. I get home, I should be able to see it yet. Awesome. So tips are not included in your instant transfer when you want to get paid, actually. Ha ha ha. Your tips will be deposited every Monday, I believe, if I'm assuming right. Every Monday, and then whatever other money you have in your account that you haven't transferred out yourself, I believe, will be just deposited on every Monday to your bank account. They don't have like an Instacart credit card they can give it to you on? No. It's not like a Venmo card or anything. It's just for paying for groceries. Yeah, there's an Instacart, like a physical like debit card that I'm going to get in the mail soon, and so I could use that to buy groceries while I'm working. Why not just use Apple Pay? It's quicker. I don't have to pull anything out. You don't have to touch anything. I love not touching things. You can see the time that you like select to start working or start doing orders or whatever, but it also keeps track of how long you take to shop and it tells you how many seconds per item you spend and you want to try and get it really low. So it's like a video game. Yeah, it's a game. You're in the game. The game's tough out here. So now that we're All home, right. let's see how much <laughs> money you made in that one hour. Okay. So it's still not showing up because this was what I deposited yesterday. Those are my tips that still need to be cashed out. Can you show the value of what you're expecting? No. Like, does it show your shopping trips? Or is it going to match what you said, what it showed before we went out? Uh, I'm unsure. It's definitely going to change because there were some items that I couldn't get or had to replace or didn't get full quantities of. So the amount that I get paid is going to get changed because the amount that they paid is changed. You know, customers get three days also to edit their tips before things get finalized, which is why they drop up on Mondays, typically, you know, because they want to give everybody a chance. Typically. Tip. Thickly. So how about this? When you find out how much you get paid, mm -hmm. you screenshot, screenshot it, it and send, send it to you. me, and then we'll put it right there, right there, Oop, right there. That's the amount that Alyssa made in one hour grocery shopping at a store she's not very familiar with. So could she have done it faster? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was filming holding her up a little bit? Yes. But you can make money out here in these streets during these tough times. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So Yay. stay safe out there. Keep making money. Keep paying bills. Get what you need for your pantry. Keep your social distancing. Remember that unless they're loved ones. All right. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. You'll get strangled to death as I mangle your flesh. Lights on, night con, which angle is best? I put you in the frame and let you hang with the rest. Call it photo finish as we diminish your last breath. And if the Sabbath is the day of the Lord, then my style of rap is like the way of the sword. Better sharpen your blade, I'm coming straight for your door. I see the devil in your face.